Meet Atlas OS, considered by many to be the most optimized operating system in the world for PC gaming. If you're a gamer, you're not going to want to miss this. In this comprehensive tutorial, I'm going to walk you through where to get it, how to install it, how to configure it, and make sure you stick around to the end, guys, because I'm going to address some very important security issues with Atlas OS and make sure if you are going to use this, that you're safe when doing so. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to that link in the description and download the Windows 11 64-bit. That'll be the first section under the Installing Atlas OS header. Download an ISO, so get that Download Windows 11 64-bit. That'll give you the ISO, and then go ahead and install that, and we'll be back when that's done. Okay, now that we have our Windows 11 ISO installed, I'm using a VM here, you're going to navigate to that ISO, which should be mounted at this point, and open up your Sources folder, and then you're going to look for the setup.exe application. So what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and open a Run dialog box. You can do that with Windows key R or right-clicking the Start Charm and typing Run. And now we want to go to D, that's our CD-ROM drive, sources slash setup.exe and hit OK. You'll get a UAC prompt there. Go ahead and click Yes. And this should start the setup application. So from here, you're going to want to select No Thanks. And if you don't have a product key, just click You Don't Have One. If your OS was already activated, it should be activated again afterwards. Select the flavor of Windows 11. In my case, Windows 11 Pro. Click Next. You need to accept the uh, license agreement. Next. You're going to want to do Custom Install Windows Only Advanced. Make sure you select the partition that contains Windows. It's going to be the bigger one. Go ahead and click Next. You'll have to agree and say OK here. This is just telling you that the old version of Windows will reside in a folder called Windows.old, and we'll address that later in the video. We'll let this run and be back when it's done. All right, once that completes, you'll be brought to the normal screen where you select your keyboard layout, your country. Make sure you select the right one there. Skip to add a second keyboard layout, obviously optional. It's going to check for updates. We'll let that run for a second and be right back. All right, now time to give your device a name. Call mine Atlas OS. Feel free to name yours whatever you'd like. Click Next. All right, when you get to this screen, you're going to want to select Setup for Work or School. Otherwise, it's going to force you to use a Microsoft account. If you want to do that, that's optional, up to you. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, this one, you're going to click on Sign In Options. And then you're going to say domain join instead. And now you're going to create a local username. I'm going to use IT Unicorn. And I'm going to use that for all my security questions since it's just a demo anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. Okay, once that's done, you'll be brought to uh, some privacy settings. I'm going to turn all these off. Feel free to read through them. If you've installed Windows 11 before, you're familiar with these. Once we run the Atlas OS configuration, it's going to take care of a lot of the stuff for us anyway, but I recommend just turning those all off unless you need them for some reason. Now it's going to check for updates and we'll be right back. Okay, so the OS install completed. I went ahead and installed VMware tools so we can get full screen and I did um, scale the monitor to 150% since I'm on a 4K display. So the next thing we're going to do is open a browser and you're going to type in atlasos.net. Once that opens, download both the Atlas Playbook along with the AME Wizard, and go ahead and extract those to your desktop. We're gonna work with those in just a second. 
All right, the next thing we're gonna do before we run any of the Atlas configuration is update our system. And I will fast forward this because I'm gonna run multiple rounds of updates essentially until there's no updates remaining. I'm gonna do the same thing for the Microsoft Store. So we'll just let this play out real quick and we'll be back when it's done. All right, we are patched up today. Time to open up the AME Wizard Beta. So just go ahead and fire that up. Once it opens, go ahead and drag and drop that playbook that we downloaded right into this UI, and that'll start our process. So the first thing we have to do is run that action to disable security. Otherwise, this is not going to work. So we need to go ahead and click on Run Action here. Once we click on that, you're gonna to wanna to click on Open Windows Security and you're gonna turn all those little toggle boxes off for the duration of this process. So go ahead and uncheck each one of those, accept the warnings. And then once you're done with that, it's continuously checking in the background. It says, okay, it's disabled, good to go. So now you need to close this box to get to the box behind it to continue with the process. So go ahead and close this one out. And now you can click next here. And this is gonna analyze the installation. Requirements are all met. So you can go ahead and hit next. And these are just the agreements. So you can read through, read through those as you please. And once you're done with that, go ahead and hit next and just say that yes, you did read them and you agree. Now these are the different options that you can configure. So you can select, click select options, excuse me. So enable Bitdefender, I'm sorry, enable Defender, Windows Defender. Some of these, I would just take the recommended actions. Uh, disable core isolation. This one we'll talk about at the end of the video. It is the recommended approach though for Atlas OS. These are optional guys, so if it doesn't fit your use case, feel free to change these. You can always change these later as well. So install a browser is the default because you're gonna get rid of Edge. So Brave is selected by default. You could change that to Chrome or Firefox, whatever you want. I'm gonna stick with Brave here. And then we can go ahead and hit next. All right, we will let this all play out here. It's gonna run some scripts and install the options and we'll fast forward and come back when it's done. All right, now that that's complete, let's go ahead and get rid of that windows.old, which is taking up probably about 12 gigs of space at this point. So go ahead and go to your settings system and then you're gonna to go to storage. And next thing you wanna do once this loads is click on the temporary files. And once that opens up, you'll see the top option there is the previous Windows installations. That has taken up 12.8 gigabytes. So feel free to check and uncheck the rest of those boxes if you want. But you see right here on the C drive, we have a windows.old. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that and I'm gonna check the rest of these as I see fit. And then I'll let this run and we'll be back when it's done. All right, guys, that didn't take too long. As you see, our windows.old is now gone. So that's good. We've reclaimed about 13 gigabytes of space. And you're all set. You have Atlas OS installed and ready to rock and roll. But one thing I would like to uh, take a look at with you guys is some of the security settings. So like I said, make sure you're patched all the way up to date. I'm just going to check one more time for good measure here. And then I'm going to go under the advanced settings and when it comes to drivers, you guys are either gonna to wanna to get drivers if you're missing from a third party website, which is my recommendation. Otherwise you can pull them down from Windows updates. Sometimes there are issues with that and we were completely up to date. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the system one more time just for good measure and we'll call it good. Okay, we are gonna talk about some security uh, issues here with Atlas OS, but first let's just take a look at how lean this thing runs. It's taking up 
very minimal amount of memory and a very small amount of CPU at rest. So we're under two gigs of memory at rest. Um, and a lot of that is with, you know, Microsoft Defender and things like that, which is one that I would recommend leaving on in this case. Uh, in CPU, you can see it's virtually not being touched at all. Now, if you had a unbloated version of Windows 11 running side by side, you would notice a pretty significant difference just even when sitting at rest. So the amount of space on disk is smaller, the amount of memory consumed, and the amount of CPU consumed is substantially less than that of a conventional install of Windows 11. All right, now you have this lean mean gaming machine, but there are some security issues here that we need to talk about, guys. So if you launch that Atlas folder, which should be on the desktop by default, go into your security folder. You're gonna wanna make sure that your UAC is turned back on. With this off, you're not saving a ton on performance. And this is essentially just having everything run as administrator. So all your code is never, you know, prompting you for permissions or anything like that. It's just basically running everything in God mode. And I would not recommend that. Definitely not worth the almost no increase in security. So I would set UAC back to the recommended level and then go ahead and apply that. Apply that, excuse me. And then we'll move on to the next setting. So UAC is probably one of the biggest security concerns here. Uh, make sure Defender is on like I talked about earlier. And then we can talk about another security issue here. Mitigations, Defender. Like I said, make sure that Defender is turned on. So this will give you three options. You can do this all through the GUI as well. Uh, the built-in Windows utilities. Mine is already running, so that's great. And then the last thing is the core isolation. This is really only gonna give you any benefit if you're running a, a very old CPU. Um, and it's not really worth it in my opinion. If you're gonna do this, just know what you're getting into. Like the Spectre attacks, um, I forget the exact name, but there are some pretty bad vulnerabilities going around they don't just disappear they're still out there so if you leave your system vulnerable to those just make sure that you're aware of that and you're you're being very cautious out there if you connect these to the internet so those are the ones that i would make sure i turn back on uac your core isolation and then also make sure defender is running at the bare minimum guys again uac enable that please don't go out there without that on and then if you don't like Defender for whatever reason, or you just, you know, have a better preference, put some third party antivirus endpoint protection on here when you're running these things. Obviously you're gaming, so you're probably gonna be connected to the internet. If you don't wanna do core isolation, it's not the end of the world. But again, I don't think it's worth it for the, for the improvement in performance that you may or may not even see, just depending on when your CPU came out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried Atlas OS, if you're a gamer, if you have a better stripped down version of Windows that you use, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like, share with your friends. Have a great day until the next video, everybody. Take care.